live with Chimicum Elementary School 6th grade eSports club. Mostly Minecraft in our eSports club, but here we have, we just started a um, practice session. We are competing on a Comp MC League. We're getting ready for the Spring League. And we have a private server that they supplied us with their own maps so we can uh, practice and be ready to play against other schools. Um, we did the Fall League, and it was really hard because we didn't get any time to practice. We started late. You know, this year with the pandemic and everything, we just didn't uh, have our team ready. So our poor sixth graders learned how to play in a full-on league competition. Uh, so it was a hard way to learn, but they learned really fast, really well, and they got really good. But now they get to practice, so I'm really excited to see what they do uh, after some practice. We've got two teams, and here are uh, ten of our players. We're missing three today. Two of our regulars. We've got a couple of alternates subbing in for them, which is great. And I see over here, man, there's some heavy defending and attacking going on. So it looks like the red team, uh, led by Captain Miles, did some early rushing. And they put these guys on the defensive. So on blue, we've got team captain is number nine, Aiden. Uh, number four is Evelyn. Seven is Rosie. Thirteen is Deacon. Fourteen is Jackson. And then Team Red, we've got one is Miles, the captain, two is Sub Donovan, six is Izzy, eight is Sub Adrian, and twelve is Trent. And I might move some of the uh, alternates into a permanent position because, I don't know, it looks like the kids who were in the slot have not been able to make practices and if they're going to be subbed anyway, might as well give them the slot because they've been coming to practices regularly. Adrian has, and Donovan, I'm sure he will too. All right, so, ooh, look at that. Gold armor with Aiden, and who's attacking him there? Can't see his number. It is number eight. That's Adrian. <laughs> I always love it when eight goes against nine, because it's Adrian versus Aiden. Whoa, red got in there. Miles got into their wool room, and he's got a purple wool. All right, so Red has the advantage. Almost getting close to 15 minutes into the first match of our practice. We have practices Wednesdays. Used to have... Oh, look at that. Blue got into the enemy, the Red wool room, and now it's tied. We got a tie game. Yes, this is where it gets exciting. We got two pretty evenly matched teams here, which makes for a super practice. And they can practice their strategy, practice their communication. I got them in the background on Google Meet, communicating. And honestly, it's great because last week I uh, played because we didn't have enough people for two even teams and I'm really bad. These guys are pros, you know, they're experienced. They've been doing Minecraft for years, and they know how to play. It's like second nature. Boom, there we go. Ooh, ow. Wow. All right, some good defending and attacking going on here, but blue is safe. So the question is, see, I haven't been paying attention. I gotta find out, oh, who was knocked over? Minecraft 12, that was Trent. So Trent and Miles do a lot of the rushing for that team, for Team Red. And um, they're good at getting into the wool room. I've seen different rushers from Team Blue. I've seen Deacon get in there and, and Aiden. Overall well-rounded player. He can do defense or offense. Bang, and he's doing well there. So having armor really gives you... Uh, a slight advantage because you get to take more damage and therefore those with just that leather armor 
the red or the blue uh, will die quicker. Nice, I like how they put up a barrier of glass blocks because then they could see through it and still have that protection. There we go, two blues against two reds. And I don't know where the wool is, I've lost track. And I forgot who got the wool for um, uh, blue team. Um, 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 oh, I don't know, I lost track. Okay, your purple wool was picked up by one. That's Miles. Okay, I knew that one. Lime wool was picked up by 14. That's Jackson. All right, Jackson. All right, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know if anybody's moved. Oh, purple wool was picked up again. There's Trent. Trent got in there too. So I don't know if Miles has managed to get out. But now there are two... Uh, Red team members. Oh, look at that! And Aiden. Oh, two and two! Okay, we're back to being super tied. This is a close game. This is awesome. Okay, guys, you're doing wonderfully here. Especially the fact that we've got two people in each wool room. Oh, I can't get in there. I don't know where everybody is. Oh, oh, oh. Twelve. And the nice thing is, if you're new to this i say it every time just so, oh, oh, oh they're getting out oh, they're making their move they're making their move red's making their move <coughs> what i didn't even see that and it was aiden way to go aiden you snuck past me nicely done Woo -hoo. <laughs> okay that was good Wow, well played. I mean, on both teams, you guys were like evenly matched. That was awesome. <laughs> so, you want to do another capture of the wolf? All right, which map? What map do you want this time? Golden Drought. Golden Drought. This time, I'm going to delay the start so I can finish putting teams together. That was so annoying when that... I forget to do that. I always forget for the first match. Okay, let's get these teams together. Okay, so let's start with... Well, no, do not mess with me. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to make... Miles' team will be red. Um, let's see, two is Donovan, so he's also on red. Um, okay, Minecraft 4 is Evelyn, she's on blue. Minecraft 6 is Izzy, she's on red. Minecraft 7 is Rosie, she's on red. Uh-oh, did I make red? Nope, I meant blue. Shoot. I forgot who's who. <laughs> okay, and then Deacon goes on blue. Did I been doing? Am I doing this right? Okay, so we've got Evelyn, Izzy, Aiden, Deacon, and Jackson. So that leaves Trent. Aha. This time I did it right. Okay, so we got five versus five. All right, we're gonna start the match in twenty seconds. Twenty-five seconds. Give him some time to. All right, you got 20 seconds till the match starts. All right. Let's see. So we got uh, Golden Drought. 
Another one of Chimicum's favorites. Palo is the one we just played, that Team Blue one. So Team Blue has one match to zero for Team Red. Let's see if Team Red can tie it up here. So on the actual league, um, it's best two out of three. So whichever school wins or, or team wins two matches, they take the game. And that'll be for the win. All right, so there's blue making their move. Ooh, ooh, bridging, but having to protect because red is uh, also coming. And the the Comp MC pros, they have uh, videos showing, you know, here's some strategy you want to have. And their suggestion is control the middle. You control the middle, you'll have a good, uh, good handle on that game. So it seems like these guys are leaving two behind to build a good defense. You gotta slow down uh, the other side because once they get into your wool room, you can't go in after them. You're stuck waiting for them to go in there, get their health back up, put on some armor. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. Um, and uh, look for an opportunity to get out and sneak past you. Oh, oh there we go. We got some... Uh, Fighting going on here. Oh, knocked off the world. Whoa. Oh, look at that. He won. Who is that? That's Trent. Oh, but they saw him and... Oh, nice. Knock. I mean, that... he must have hit him hard enough to knock him off. So if he can sneak in... Oh, oh. What's he going to do? He's going to fight? He's going to fight? I would have just jumped in. Jump in. There he goes. Trent, get in there. What are you doing? He's in. Whoo. He must have noticed he had enough health because I was freaking out. I would have just jumped in and replenished my health. So that was well done. But now Blue is all over it. They're like, we can't let him get out. Ooh, 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 what's he doing? He's trying to get out. Whoa, and he fell down. <laughs> all right, so off to a fast start, but got knocked off the world before he could... Uh, capitalize on that looks like blue let's see 13 deacon got into red's room and they got he's got the purple wool <laughs> so oh does red even know there's only one defender what's happening where are you going deacon's in there oh my goodness deacon do you see what's happening okay now we got another red I don't know, they look very calm. I'd be all like watching him, make sure he doesn't sneak out. Because what they do is when they're in there, they shoot arrows so you can't like just hover over them or you'll get killed. But they don't look uh, like they know he's in there. And I don't want to go in there because then I'll give away his location. Because I'll be wondering, why is he going in there? So let's see, let's go down here, see if Deacon's still in there. He should be. I didn't see him leave. Deacon? I don't see him. What did I miss? Oh, there he goes. Oh, what's he doing? He's coming out this way. Is that you? Is that Deacon? <laughs> they don't know he's there. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Izzy almost saw him. Oh my goodness, that was, that, this was good. So yeah, Izzy and Donovan, if you watch this footage back, this is so cool, you don't even know he's there. Okay. So now he's got to sneak out. Why am I whispering? They can't hear me, I'm muted. Yeah, thank goodness I'm muted or they would have heard me. Okay, so he's still in there. Shoot, what's he going to do? Because uh, the longer he's in there, the more they are building... Now's your chance. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness I can't cheat. What? Minecraft 2 has the green wool. Minecraft 2, that is Donovan. Whoa, Donovan rushing. What do you know? So now both sides have each other's team's wool. Let's see who can get it out first. So we got Donovan way over there with the green wool and Deacon over. Deacon. Oh my goodness, they're all gone. You can get out now. Did he get out? Did I miss him? Okay, I don't see him. 
Oh my goodness, yeah, when you're in there, you can't tell where everybody is. Oh, he's still in there. They don't know. This is wow. But he has to get out, and he can't talk to his team because the other team will hear him. Then they'll be all over it. Oh, 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 so here's Trent making a move. Oh, but he fell off the world. All right, Deacon. It's still yours. Wait, is Donovan in there? Was that Donovan or was it 12? Um, let's see. Oops. So, Green Wool was picked up by Minecraft 2. That is Donovan. I thought 12 just came out of there. Maybe 12 was in there too. Green Wool. I only see two. Maybe that was Donovan who fell. Okay, I see some red moving over here. There's some blue. There's some fighting going on right there. Oh, he got him. That's Trent again. Okay, they're making their move, but blue is hunkered in there. Let's see if they can hold him off. Oh, 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 yeah. See, so all you got to do is just sneak past their defenses, and you're in. All right, so now Trent has green, has another uh, chance at getting the wool back. Oh, yep, Donovan's saying, let's get out at the same time. What happened? Oh, 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 there he goes. He's making his move. And, oh, nice help there, helping each other out. That's how you help him get uh, back for the win. All right, so who's that? That is... Is it 12 or 2? It's 12. It's Trent. Yeah. And he's even stopping to shoot some air. Where, where are you going? Don't you have the wool? Dude, I would have ran all the way back. Okay, ooh. Aiden has purple wool, but Trent could win it. This would tie up blue versus red today. All right, looks like he's coming in for the uh, placing of the wool and the win. Ba-boom. All right, let's see if he's coming this way. Is he coming? Where'd he go? I thought Trent had the wool and he was coming back for the win. And who's in here? What? I could have sworn. Trent, where are you? Oh. He was just taking his time. Now he's going to place it. Okay, I thought you had it. You were just way too calm about this. What? Did you hit me? Yep, that was it. That's the win. I knew it. Wow, now we're tied. This is great. So, what is that? One blue, one red, one to one? Okay, okay, so, you know since there's two Chimicum teams, there's gonna come a time when you guys play against each other in the actual league. And right now, if this were an actual game, uh, we'd be tied. The third match will declare a winner. So let's see who wins the third match. Um, yeah, so sh let's do, should we do Golden Drought? Yeah. Again, I mean, just like, I think it's Golden Drought. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try again. Okay. S10. I'm going to give him a nice competitive edge. They're good enough. All right, Golden Drought is always the map they do the tiebreaker, the best two out of three, especially when you have a tie game. Okay, so 14 is on red. How do you always get on red when you are blue? Let's put you on blue. All right. Okay, so one is red. All right. I don't want to split the teams up. Is No, that's Donovan. He's red. Donovan is red. Evelyn is blue. Um, Izzy 
is red. Uh, Rosie is blue. Okay, Adrian is red. <gasps> Shoot, I forgot to delay the start. Whew, almost forgot that. You never give me enough time. Okay, where am I at? Let's put him on blue. So I should have four and four. I got 13 and 12. Excellent. So Deacon is blue. And Trent is red. All right, so I got four, seven, nine. We got Evelyn, Rosie, Aiden, Deacon Jackson, Miles, Donovan, Izzy, Adrian, Trent. Oh, there we go. Now I can start in 25. Whew. Okay, we got about 20 seconds till the match begins. All right, 10 seconds. Oh, seven. Five seconds. And they're off. Here we go. This is the tie breaking match for the win in Chimicum. Team A versus Team B. I just called them that because that's what other schools called their teams. But in this game, it's blue versus red. They've each won one match. So this match will declare a winner. Ooh. Okay, some people can actually shoot that far. Who is shooting and making it that far? That is wild. Okay, so Blue's making a fast move. They got two rushers rushing rather quickly. Way to go. these tools do. Maybe I should learn someday. All right, all right. Well, we got going here. This looks like where there's some action. Oh, I see bridging over there, and I don't see the person. That's so cool. All right, let's rush over there and see who's bridging. We got Team Red making their move across. Look at that. They got three blues defending. Oh, there's another blue. Must have gotten killed. Ooh, look at this. This looks like fun. Boom. Right, there's... Re Whoa. Oh, look at that. All right, all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who's gonna win here? Good pushback. Whoa, that was nice. He was lucky he had room. And then, uh, yeah, 13. Fell off. The world. Oh, oh, you won, but you fell off. All right, blue's still safe. Oh, but there's another red rusher. Making a move on the blue wool room, which has the green wool. Red's after the green wool, blue is after the purple wool. Whatever it is, is really good. What? You can get critical hits in Minecraft? You know, honestly, when Minecraft first came out, I never even dreamed of uh, PvP like this. This is cool. Alright, so they got some different obstacles there. What is that? Crafting table? I don't know what that is. And it looks like some brick of some sort. I don't know the different blocks, but they look cool. Yeah, so if they use one, uh, like a pickaxe or a sword or an axe, uh, they work differently on different materials. So if you put different materials, they uh, slows them down. Or they have to switch implements. 
I wouldn't waste the time switching implements. I'm not as fast as these guys are at switching things and going from fighting to eating to fighting to bow and arrow. The bow and arrow. Oh my goodness. It's such a pain. Because if you don't pull it all the way back, and they seem to do it so fast. How can you guys do it that fast? Okay, whoa, well, I don't see anybody over here. So I see this red rusher kind of hiding there, trying to sneak past the blues. And I think blue knows he's there, but that's a tough place to be because if they respawn, they come out of there. Okay, there's three defenders there. You better run for your life. <laughs> yeah, he needs help. There's another one. Oh, but there's, oh, look at that. So we got four blues right here. Which means, do they have one rushing? That's an interesting strategy, because if you, if they see your guys, does that leave one lone rusher to sneak past the defenses? I don't see the other blue. I got one, two, three reds. I don't know where the other two are either. I don't think anybody's gotten in yet. Nope, nobody's in yet. All right, first five minutes are done, and uh, they've got bridges built, but nobody's been able to get into the other team's wool room. Oh, excuse me. Oh, knocked off the world. That was Aiden knocked off by Trent, and then... Adrian fell off the world. Oh, look at that. They've got a nice little fort there. Ah, this is great. Side? Where? Okay, so I see four blues here and five blues. Okay, so they're all around here, so they're not getting into the green wool room. Nope. I mean, purple wool room. They have the green one right there. All right. Here we go. This is good. This is good. They're either defending really well or not rushing as aggressively. I don't know, the first two matches were won rather quickly with some aggressive rushing. I don't know, from the few matches I've seen when we played in the fall and, and last year, I think this aggressive, fast rushing is the way to go. It wins the games quick more quickly. Or the matches, I should say. Ooh, you got somebody with that. Wow, that was good shooting. Ooh, wow. That is some good shooting. Oh, oh, you're getting shot. Oh, you picked up all their stuff. All right. Who is that? Is that 12? That is... Come on, stand still. I can't see your number. Oh, it looks like that is uh, Donovan. Oh, who guys knocked him off the world? He was doing really well. I just had to get up close to see if that was a 12 or a 2. <laughs> All right, what's happening here? Trent, there he goes. He snuck in again. All right, so uh, red has the advantage. Can blue get into their wool room? Because Trent has the green wool. What's he going to do with it? See what we got going here. Does Blue know he's in there? Looks like they do. But he's coming out. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, there's three of them there. Can Trent get past these three? He's going back in. All right. 
Ooh, there's another red. Helping Trent. Oh, come on. Way to work together. Can Trent get out of this alive? Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, Deacon got him. All right, Deacon, you saved the day there. And he didn't place the wool, so they've got just a slight advantage. All you need is to get somebody into the purple room. All right, there's some blue. Oh, oh, we got a blue. Making them. Oh, wow. That was some fancy shooting. Got him while he was running up the stairs. Let's see. So if he comes up this way, this is what he has to get by. Yep. See, so they have to run, fight off defenders, place blocks to be able to climb up these defenses. Because once they get up here, they're home free. You get in there, you're safe. Whoa. It's, it's always funny seeing people fall off the world. I hate falling off the world. Oh, another red knocked off the world. Alright, so how are we doing here? We got a lot of blues around here. Is anybody in there? Wait, did they get out? Alright, 10 minutes. Wow, we've already burned through 10 minutes of this match. They've got 10 more minutes. Right now, if nothing changes, if uh, Red can hold off the blue team from getting into their wool room, and if blue does the same, Red wins it because they got the green wool first. Wait, somebody coming in? Oh, there's blue in there. Okay, I thought they were coming in for the win. Oh, man, that's wild. Run away. Ooh, ooh, you're making a move for the wool room. Can you make it? Oh, knocked off the world. Must have had enough health. Nice, aggressive, risky move there from Jackson. Because, yeah, now blue team... They have to get into this uh, purple room just to tie it up. So, one match to one match. If red gets in here and touches the purple wool, it's tied. We'd have to go into um, a fourth match. Because I honestly don't... Uh, unless you get the wool out and place it down somewhere... It, it, it's a tie. And they do a good job of, of having scenarios to break ties so they don't have to play a fourth match. Ooh, ooh, wow, wow. Oh my goodness, that was some fancy fighting there from Trent. Looks like Trent wants to get back into that wool room, get that green wool. Oh, he's running away. He's coming back. Run away, come back. Oh, wow! Cross that distance real quickly there. Oh, ooh, look at all that stuff. Uh, Aiden had. That was Aiden. Shot by Trent. Person in our base. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he snuck around the back. Oh, but they're all there. They're all there. Oh, yeah. Can't take on that many defenders. So red uh, is rushing. I see a lot of blues here. So that means if they're rushing, they must be going on the other side. Yeah, blue. Make sure you rush now because you've got 6 minutes 45 seconds to tie the game. Or win it. Because red has the advantage right now. If nothing changes, red will win. Wow. Uh, I 
Okay, so the teams are still good. Everybody's alive. Nobody's dead. What's going on here? Nobody's dead. Come on, you guys. They're all just standing around. Make your move. This is the winning match. You're not going to win it by standing alone. Well, red is. Blue, you got to make the move here because red is sitting pretty. They're ahead of you. That is some pretty far shooting. To shoot that far. Oh, wow. And then to actually hit somebody. Double wow. I don't know. I mean, you hold the mouse thing, right? You pull all the way back. And then you aim. That all takes time. Why does it take me so much longer than all of you? Goodbye. Alright, who's here? Oh. <gasps> Oh, 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 who's making a move? There's two. Oh my goodness, knock two blues out. Are you going to get past this one too? Oh, he got you. Oh, look at that. You're even taking your time there. Just take your time. Whoa, okay, that's sneaky. Why, why'd you do that? They think you're in there. That was sneaky. From behind. Oh my goodness. Five minutes left. Oh, and they got you. You could have gotten in. Jackson got you. Yeah, you could have gotten in. There's less than five minutes to go. I don't know. Trent, don't do that in an actual game. If you can get in the wool room, get in the wool room. Because in an actual game, uh, with only like four minutes to go, if you can't make it all the way back to your base, get out and just place wool anywhere because if the other team gets our wool we don't want it to end in a tie all right so yeah blue make your move red has the advantage if you don't touch the wool red wins right now all they got to do is hold you Keep you off their their wool. Hold you back. Four minutes. They've got to hold you back. That's all they got to do. You got to rush with everything you've got. Oh. All right. So red sitting pretty. All they got to do is defend. And I'm curious what will happen. I wish uh, we could get a blue in there so I could see if it's really a tie or if they if the game actually calls one side the winner. Because I don't know. Does it do it by whoever got into the wool room first? I'd be okay with that. I don't think it's... it's not, yeah, I don't know. Not necessarily fair, but... What are you going to do? Does this game call a tie? I've never seen that. Hmm. But I see a lot of standing around here. I mean, they had a while there before Blue rushed them. And there's three minutes. Blue, Blue, you're going to lose. This was amazing. I don't know what was happening. Did they play a little more reserved? Because I told them this was for the win. That's two out of three. Or are they both just playing so well that um, nobody could get the wool all the way back to their base. I mean, I don't know. I'm really curious. Oh, oh, oh. Now I get to see if it's going to be a tie. Oh, now I'm excited. I don't know what's going to happen. I do not know what's going to happen. So Deacon got in there. Okay, if Red, if you can hold Deacon in there and two minutes pass, I don't know what's going to happen. This this right now, to me, is a complete tie game. But Deacon's got a chance to win this. So, Deacon, if you're watching this back. Minecraft 2 left the game. Still time to leave the game. Um, but, Deacon, if you can get out and place the wool, even anywhere, you win it for blue. This is it. Where is Donovan? We lost him. I 
must have. Hope it wasn't battery. I told you guys a thousand times, plug your laptop in when we're playing. Okay. What's going to happen here? If Deacon doesn't get out of there in one minute, ten seconds, who wins? I do not know. And part of me wishes he would stay in there because then I can see what the game, who the game calls the winner, if anyone. One minute warning. But if he just comes out and places the wool, but see, look, there, Red is watching him. Because if they can keep him in there, then it's a tie. It's got to be a tie. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on. Okay, 35 seconds. <gasps> He's out. Put the wool down. You can win this right here. 30 seconds. Did he place wool? I don't see it. I think if you place it right there, that does give you the advantage, right? Somebody tell me. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. All right, somebody going into the other base? Oh, oh, what's Deacon doing? He's out. He's digging his way out. Game over. It was a tie. That was a total tie. I was so curious as to what was going to happen. I think, Deacon, if you would have gotten out and just put the wool down, uh, that would have been the tiebreaker. Okay, okay, so, you know, it's almost five. I don't know what you guys can do, uh, but if you want to stay, do you want to do the Chips Ahoy capture the flag just for fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah just try it because I want you guys to get more used to it. Sure. Well, I'll tell you, the nice thing about these teams is these are really close to the teams you're going to compete with, so I want you guys to get used to playing with each other. All right, are we on Chips Ahoy? Okay, we're on Chips Ahoy. All right, let's get these teams together. So this uh, season, spring season, they are adding a new game. Uh, capture the flag. And so I want them to practice because it's a little different. I'm not all sure how it works. So I need to learn as the coach what they have to do here. Because last time we tried it, last week's practice, um, the team that thought they won didn't win. And I was all like, what? Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was the time he uh, was the team that had the ball. So he was going to say, so he was like, that is never. Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, see, you can barely see these people. And they're kind of glowing. Oh, this is, this is hard. And this is not one where bridging, it doesn't look like there's a, any bridging to be done. How can you tell? Oh, wow. Okay, so what do you do if you jump from here? I don't even know where I am. Oh my goodness, it's so dark. Oh, I'm still flying. Minecraft 6 left the game. Oh no, Izzy, where'd you go? Well, so Donovan got kicked out, but he's back in. He's number two. And now Izzy got kicked out. I don't know if she's going to come back. Um, five versus four. Yeah, I can't see well here. I don't know what's going on. They Minecraft one left the game. What is happening to Team Red? Team Red lost Miles and Izzy. Whoa, what is that? What is that? Okay, there's Minecraft 1. So he's red. Do we have 6 back? Okay, so now they got 4 again. What in the world is this? What is that? Is that the flag? Why is it so big? It didn't look that big last time. Holy cow, that's gigantic. Look how long it is. Uh, what in the world? Okay, so Izzy's not back yet. The flag fell out of the world? I do not know what's going on here. So, what do we have here? Um... Those are the flags. They did, they actually looked like flags last time we played. Blue flag will respawn in 15 seconds. Okay, so are there... So seven seconds, so it's counting down from the blue flag will res respawn. Okay, so blue flag respawns, so it's no longer there. Yeah. Okay. We'll make do. Yeah, and Izzy got kicked out, I guess. So, uh, we got three people on Team Red and five on Team Blue. Can we make it? Can we move a Team Blue over to Team Red? Can somebody in Team Blue, can I put you in Team Red to make it four versus four? Okay, I'll move you over so it can be four versus four. Team Force 9 Red. Oh, I couldn't do it. Team Force, nine, red. Oh. There it worked. So now we got four versus four. Okay. That's a little better. Makes me feel a little better because, you know, four versus five. Four versus five, no problem. Three versus five. That's easily fixable. So I don't know if Izzy's coming back. If she comes back, it'll be four versus five instead of four versus five. <laughs> All right, red flag response. So, oh, I mean, what, what makes sense is you get the enemy flag, you take it to your side, 
the, the team that does that the most wins, right? I guess. I don't know. And those do not look like flags. What is going on here? Everyone can see. I haven't even seen the red flag. I'm assuming this is the blue flag, right? Right, right? Look at it. Why did they change it? it I, th I thought it was cool when it looked like a flag. Blue flag has been dropped. Where? Who? Red flag will respawn. Where is the red flag? This does not look like... What, did he go to the wrong team? I mean, I switched them in the middle of the game. Seems an honest mistake. Blue flag has respawned. What? So that was the one that was there. I'm so confused. Okay, so here's another. They both look the same. How can you tell which is which? Oops. I cannot see. It's so frustrating. Where am I? What? How can you? Oh. Okay, five minutes remaining. Thank goodness, because this is uh, frustrating. All right, all right, so I see some movement going on. I don't know if they're defending or attacking or what. I cannot tell. Okay, okay, so here's some people. This flag was placed, so now it gets respawned, right? Wait, are you moving? Why are you guys moving? Whoa, why did I fall? Where am I? Help me, I can't see. Alright, somebody died with the flag, so that's just sitting there. It's understandable. So can you, oh, come on, get me out of here. So the flags look the same, right? Here's another flag. Oh, it respawned. Okay, I saw that. But this one, they have the flag. So it's dark, how can you tell one team from another? They're all dressed the same. Hmm. Four minutes, and who's gonna win? I have no idea. Where is it? There's no score. How do you know who's winning? Be nice if there was some way to tell who's ahead. Alright, so both flags are on the move. There's one. Where's the other? There's the other. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Where do I put the flag? Good question. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. You lost the flag, so now it's gonna respawn. So I guess the other side has fourteen seconds left before they can grab it. Alright, so the other flag, yeah, so it's just a matter of go grab the flag, place it, it respawns, go grab the flag, place it, it respawns. So there's no way for us to know who's ahead, you just have to keep count. Sounds hard to do. Um, it'd be nice to have a scoreboard somewhere to see. Um... I don't see any score here. Ships Ahoy by Slumper and Gayali. And then there, there's no score. There's a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but what's the purpose of that? Oh, is there some fighting here? Boom. Hmm. Okay, so last time, I, I, we just don't have a scoreboard. That's why the numbers we saw did not have anything to do with who had placed the flag more. Because I can imagine as your team's coming back and forth with the flag, you're going to lose count. But the game seems to be keeping count. And we... We have no way of knowing. I can't even keep score. Uh, yeah. 
Yep, I see a flag running. So I guess this is a... The advantage of having this is it's easy to find the f person with the flag. Because you can see them from a distance. And then it makes it so I guess you have to defend and fight it more, I guess. Yeah. I still like the other flag better because it was cool. It looked like a flag, a huge flag. Couldn't you just make a flag shaped? That was bigger. Whoa, that just went right through there. See, that's another thing that bugs me. It went through a solid object. And I can't even tell who's who. Is that, who is that? All right, so there's another flag placed for that team. I can't even see what color their names are. It's so dark. Oh, it's just me. I do not like these dark games. Alright, so 30 seconds. So yeah, there's no scoreboard, so you just gotta keep track of how many times you place the other flag. Alright, let's see. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, blue! <laughs> well, that was fun. I, I mean, from what I just watched, it just looks like whoever gets the other team's flag to their side the most wins. But there's no score. I, I I just wish they had a scoreboard so you can tell who's ahead, how far behind you are. Um, yeah, there's no way of knowing who's ahead. You just have to keep getting the flag and placing it. Yeah, I like Capture the Wool a lot better. Yeah, It's more fun to watch. And I don't like dark maps. I can't see you guys. Yes. I keep on accidentally going for other blue players thinking that they're red Right. Oh, man. You guys should just turn the saturation saturation way up and brighten the game and then you'll feel good. That's cool. Yeah, the second arrow exit is just like bright coming at me at once. That's how I feel. Who's going to stay over? Who's going to stay? I'm going to go. I'm going to stay over. I'm going to go. All right. Well, thanks for a good practice, everybody. I, I heard my name. Okay. I had fun watching. Day. See you later. Bye. Bye. Uh, Deacon? Evelyn, Rosalie, you want to do a meet? Were you trying to talk to me? Yes, you want to do a meet? Okay, sure. You just join the room. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, Deacon, uh, are you staying over or no? Are you staying? Okay, Mr. Gonzalez, can I have off? You got it. All right. Okay, have a good Bye. evening. Bye-bye. here and I'm gonna all right let's go to here wow okay that was fun uh, great practice um, not too happy with that ship chips ahoy but this is Al Gonzalez from Chimicum Elementary sixth grade esports signing off